Oh, it went dark. It looked light, now it's dark. Uh, what up, Peach? Alright. Uh, B pollen. You get you some. Alright, do I want a 10 second video or you want to know a little more about it? Uh, Superfood, nutrient density. Alright, high nutrient density. Um, a good mix of all you need. I mean, I feel silly doing this video because I feel like it's common sense, but if you don't know, you better ask somebody. Get you some Snoop Dogg bee pollen here. YS Eco Bee Farms. I believe this is from Canada. But I don't care where it comes from. Sheridan, Illinois. Uh, they say local is good if you're dealing with allergies. But what are allergies? Are allergies even really a thing? It's toxic overload. Okay? And deficiency. Those are the only two things that cause pathology. Allergens, yeah. You know dust, pollen, right? We don't want to be breathing in asbestos, but do we call that allergic? No, it's, you know, it's horrible. <laughs> you can't, it's toxic and uh, beyond, right? It's deadly. Uh, so yeah, allergies, not really a thing, all right? Uh, very rarely does someone have a genetic weakness it's possible, but it's rare. Uh, I think most allergies can be overcome. It boils down to diet deficiency and toxic overload. Toxicity overload, that's all pathology, right? So what do I suggest? Eat good, eat superfoods, add superfoods, right? I grew up on junk food, pizza, and whatever. And, you know, I was making hemp, tortilla, raw cheese, unpasteurized raw, European A2 cow cheese, whatever, you know, like you can make healthy pizzas and quesadillas and stuff and eat healthier. You can make a healthy version of anything you're eating that's not healthy. You already know how to clean up your diet. If you don't know, better ask somebody. No, seriously, then you're in trouble. Like, you know, go with the obvious stuff. Eliminate the fast foods, eliminate, you know, the sodas and, and the crap. Artificial flavors and colors and preservatives really top the list high and bad 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 artificial sweeteners tremendously bad but i'm digressing get you some bee pollen right because we could sit here and talk all day about things you don't want to eat um and basically one word toxins don't eat toxic food <laughs> all right eat healthy nutritious food like bee pollen add superfoods to your diet can really really give you the nutritional support you need to be healthy, okay? So bee pollen, what does it got? All naturally occurring, bee pollen whole granules, all naturally occurring vitamins, we need them, minerals, a lot of people are mineral deficient, amino acids, which is proteins, or the building blocks of proteins, carotenoids, good stuff, bioflavonoids, phytosterols, fatty acids, enzymes, and more. They don't even know all the stuff that's in here. Modern science and the doctors cannot uh, figure it out. We don't know every compound in nature. The bees know. We don't even know every plant. They're collecting from plants we don't even know. I mean, these plants are uh, probably more obvious. You know, maybe they're working on certain crops, probably, likely. Um, yeah, but bee pollen, fantastic stuff. I take about a teaspoon, tablespoon a day. That's kind of like my multivitamin. It's a good way to get your multivitamins. Now, uh, propolis, okay? Sick people, they know about Manuka honey and stuff like that, but the propolis, it's got bee pollen in it, and the propolis is the medicine that the bees make. So get you some, all right? You got sniffles, allergies, blah, blah, blahzy blahs. I don't know, polyps, not good. But, uh, you know, that's my medicine. And I'm thinking right now I don't have any in the cupboard. That's not good. Good to have it around all the time. If I get a little sore throat, you know, mainly it's because you're run down. But if you're breathing in, you know, smoke or something, uh, you may not be run down, right? And so there could be dust in the air and even a lot of pollen. If it's a huge pollen full, right, these are irritants. Um, people have more of an allergic type reaction to them because they're weak in their immune system, right? They're overloaded with toxicity and it's just the last straw to break the camel's back. One more hair on top of the stack. All right, so bee pollen, propolis, honey, what's the other one? Uh, boy knows. 
boy's helping with this video. He's a good boy. Yep. See, he drinks water. There's his water dispenser. He's a little shy. Yeah, he don't really want to be on camera. He's like, dude, what am I, a model? He's funny. But he eats bee pollen. Sometimes put a little on his stuff. <laughs> Check with your vet before giving it to your animals. Um, and they say, you know, caution may cause allergic reactions in some sensitive people. Anyone with suspected sensitivity, consult a nutritionist before taking. So you take it slow. You take a few granules, you put it under your tongue, put it on your tongue, let it dissolve, see if your tongue swells up and you puff up like a balloon. Probably uh, have to try another route. But, you know, if you're not taking a multivitamin, this is a way to go and can replace your synth of vitamins if you got some fake ass stuff, it's not going to absorb, it could even block absorption and cause you problems, all right, so we don't want that, we want natural whole food source, vitamins, bee pollen is my number one, uh, it can get pricey, and well, we do have more of a tablet, right, but I'm trying to break myself from tablet culture, that's a big pharma thing, uh, that's not the way to health, right, tablets to health, all right, so they have a multivitamin and mineral from Trader Joe's here. Now, this has got the Cynthia. Boom. Cynthia. I don't know if you can see all that. You can freeze it and look it over. Um, I get me some magnesium. I don't take a lot of this stuff too often. Magnesium, I probably should take a little more often, but I've been taking Epsom salt baths. And, oh, I can't find my whole food source multi vitamin because it's in the fridge. Uh, I never kept it in the fridge, but it says to store it in the fridge. So there it is. Boom. My kind for men. So it's natural. It doesn't have 100% of everything you need. But most of the stuff in here is going to be pretty absorbable. And so, you know, you're going to pay a little more for these whole food source vitamins, right? So the A is in the form of beta carotene from Organic Food Blend. Here, I'll scroll the ingredients for you guys. Oh, boy's chiming in. Boy, what's going on over there? He just wants to. Uh, the wind is coming. All right, so... Let's see, vitamin C from Organic Food Blend. It does not say ascorbic acid. Okay, you don't want that stuff. <laughs> and, and I find it in many high-level, very expensive supplements. So beware the ascorbic acid, no bueno. Questions, comments, hit me down below. We're going to wrap this video. Coming up to eight minutes. Uh, get you some bee products, right? The bees know. I mean, I guess we're wiping them out now, so... <laughs> so scratch that <laughs> I was going to say we got a lot to learn from the bees now it's symbiotic they're making these products to help us keep us healthy too so you know be natural be happy be healthy see a chiropractor and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video peace